So we've just kicked off today um, the launch of, of the, the project and the first phase that will essentially start now is what we're calling the development phase. Um, and this is where we're really engaging with animal health pharmaceutical companies who are interested in developing a high quality FMD vaccine that is tailored to the strains of the disease that exists, of the virus that exists in Eastern Africa. Um, and so we, we, what we've done is we've developed a target product profile that lists out the characteristics of the vaccine that have to be met in order for the vaccine to be qualified for the Ag Results competition. Um, so from this point forward, we'll be engaging with uh, industry, with animal health pharmaceutical companies, vaccine producers, who express interest in um, working to develop the vaccines that meet this criteria. Mm. And basically, to get through to the next phase, they have to first develop the vaccine. Uh, the second step would be the registration of the vaccine in at least two of our target countries in Eastern Africa. Moving into the, the cost share phase, this is where the funding from Ag Results comes into the picture. Um, and it comes in in the form of what we're calling um, a cost share mechanism, uh, which is essentially payment of a portion of the purchase price right. of the vaccine. So in other words, the, the buyer, whether it be a private sector buyer or a public sector buyer from one of these target countries in Eastern Africa will pay a portion of the price and the Ag Results funding will cover the other portion. And um, it's set up so that each year the percentage of the cost share um, starts out in year one um, at the highest point and slowly decreases over a four year period. Um, and I can, I can get into the exact percentages if you want me to. Um, but then the, the volume of cost share doses increases year on year. So the idea is that um, by year five, year four, you've you've reached a volume of of doses sold that would be encouraging um, and incentivizing to a vaccine producer to get to want to get into this market. If you go to the GalvMed website, um, we now have information about the competition available. The full official competition rules will be available on the website starting from February 7th, um, so in a couple of weeks. In terms of applying, um, because of the timelines that I talked about for the development phase where we don't expect um, the first vaccine to come in prior to two years mm -hmm. from now, um, so the two-year mark of the project, um, the application submission will begin um, no sooner than a year from now. So the, ap the actual application will be available um, on the GalvMed website um, as of July 1st.